Hi guys, welcome to my coat closet. <laughs> I am inside my coat closet upstairs because I have been purging. I have so many coats, you guys, so many coats, and that's not the half of them. And then I have a whole bunch of them that I threw over the balcony, a bunch of them downstairs, a bunch of them on the bed. <laughs> I've been purging. Here's some more coats. Yeah, so there's more coats. And so I've tried on every last coat. And then, okay, you see that pile down there? That's probably 20 coats. So many coats. I have things here in the floor. I think I'm in a mood to clean and purge because spring is near. Actually, today's the first day of spring because today's my daughter's birthday, March the 20th. It's midnight on a Saturday night, so actually it's the 21st. <laughs> but we've been gone all day, came home, took a little nap, and now I'm probably up till 3 in the morning and I'm purging in my closet. <laughs> so... I just haven't had time to do a sit down video. I've got a luxury reveal to show you guys, something that I've been wanting for a while, but I just thought you guys could kind of follow me around the house and see what I'm up to. You guys, this room is my favorite room in the house. Don't ask me why. I guess because, okay, it has our old bed in here when we first got married and it's a queen size bed and we had this bed in our first house and everything looks kind of old fashioned. I have like these lace curtains and really dark purple walls and the Chanel kind of like a quilt, uh, kind of like a comforter like maybe your grandmother would have had of that Chanel. So. Um, and I've got lots of old pictures I've showed you guys before of my grandparents and just, you know, some of my daughter's toys. It's just, I like this room. Sometimes I just come up here. I tell Keith it's my thinking room. <laughs> so just kind of come up here and reflect sometimes. Just um, lay on the bed, think about things. And I've got some old dried flowers in here. And sometimes little pieces of it fall off, but I don't know. There's just something really pretty about dried flowers. Look at these flowers. I've had, I've had, look at that rose, that dried rose. I don't even really want to touch it or move it. I just, I don't know. I just love it. But anyway, yeah, so there's some of the old pictures I've showed you guys before. Some of my uh, icons. These were my Yaya, uh, my mom's mom. I call them both Yaya. Um, those were hers. They're older than me, you guys. There's my mom on her wedding day and her little sister. My Yaya from Greece came and stayed with us for a long time. And my little grandson. Ooh, that, that light is really messing things up. But anyway, Van Gogh. It's just a replica, of course. It's a real oil painting. I mean, my sister. So anyway, check out these pretty, pretty old-timey lace curtains. But anyway, I really like this furniture. I'll always keep this, I guess, and unless we move to the beach <laughs> and sell out everything. But it's nice. I have a Jack and Jill bathroom here. And I want to show you the state of my office. So this is kind of a mess. I've I pulled all the everything off this bed and I've gonna I'm gonna make up the bed and I just bought these white shears to go in here. I took everything off the dresser. It needs to be dusted. It's kind of a retro looking. I pulled out a bunch of toys that were Evans. And so I'm going to fix this room up nice. I just put this mirror here. Hi. How do you like my outfit? Ooh. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I've got on my top from today, pajama pants and some house shoes. And then look at my office, you guys. It's a mess. And I just don't have time to sit down here and do a a good sit down video. There's little AJ, little AJ. There she is. She looks just like her mommy Autumn, doesn't she? Such an uncanny resemblance. The Prada box from my bag, a Chanel box. You guys, it's just a mess in here. And I know you would think that I would have time to get it together, but I have literally went nonstop. For like four days, nonstop. 
So I've even got, yes, I have lighting in the hall. So I'm here in my purse closet and it's not so bad in here. I still have some lighting from when I used to film in here. And I get a lot of you that say you really miss the eye candy. So yeah, if you guys want me to film in here every now and then, just let me know. I've got a lot of shoes, you guys. A lot of shoes and a lot of boots. Especially a lot of boots. You guys know I love booties. I say I'm a big booty girl. <laughs> Here's our friend. Who does this look like? Miss Beckman. That's right. Miss Beckman. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm in my room, and what time is it? It's like 12.35 Saturday night, and I am really tired of purging, so I thought I'd just come in here and talk to you guys, and I really enjoy doing these kind of vlog videos because I enjoy watching Andri, and she's the one, hi Andri. She, um, she inspired me. Uh, because, you know, I just love seeing her everyday life. She's such a happy person. She makes the best of every day. And she is what she is. And I just love her. And she's a fellow Greek, you know. So, <laughs> so I, I don't know. I just feel a connection to you, Andre. And you've inspired me to do more videos like this. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to film a video. I need to go upstairs and sit down and... I don't know, sometimes I'm just not feeling it, and like today I've been gone all day, and then just not feeling it, so this is me. Uh, at 12.30 midnight, um, Saturday night. But I was gonna tell you guys, today I used this bag, I've been using this bag all week, and I love it. It's tiny, it, it's a tiny little thing, but she packs a punch. I really, really like her. I still don't understand what this ring is. If you guys know, what is the purpose of this? It reminds me of a nose ring. One of those rings you put right in the middle. <laughs> what is that for? Is it to hang a scarf on it or what? I don't know. But I love it. Sometimes you just don't want to lug a purse around. Or pocketbook. <laughs> That's what my grandmother used to call it. So sometimes you just don't, you just want to be hands free and just, you know, so, uh, I just really like it. I mean, okay. Would I like it to be a little bit bigger? Maybe a little bit, not as big as my Thacker because it's a really big one, but you know, I, I wouldn't mind it if it were a little bit bigger, but at the same time, it's fine. I really like it. I'm going to use it like crazy and really enjoy it. And um, so I'm really glad I got it. So I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're on the fence about it, you won't regret it. I don't think you would. I don't. I don't regret it a bit. Good morning, everybody. It is now Tuesday morning. I was vlogging last, I think it was midnight, <laughs> Saturday night. So I never really filmed anymore after that. So anyway, I thought I would pick back up today. I do have a luxury unboxing, you guys. Yeah, if you're going to be bad, just go for it, right? <laughs> I'm just home today, and I'm going to be doing some painting, but really not for the video. I'm doing a floral class, online class, so I'm super excited because I feel like, you know, I need to really get better on my florals, so I'm doing that, and probably go out to the pool house today and get set up for my party this weekend, and yeah, it's just kind of cold today, and I am wearing <laughs> overall shorts, even though it's cold, you guys. I am so ready for warm weather. I want to be relatable to you guys, and I do want to tell you guys that I am, um, it is getting more difficult for me to, um, reply to every comment. I'm still trying my best, but I know one day there will come a time that I won't be able to reply to every single comment, although I will read them and I do read them. And I noticed today I replied to a couple of comments and they were from a week ago. <laughs> But if you guys ever have any kind of question, you ever want to talk to me about something, yeah, you can just, you know, private message me on um, Instagram. Be sure to follow me there, Yota Style Lux. But it is getting more and more difficult because, you know, when you get more um, subscribers and you more, you know, it just takes so much time. But I'm constantly striving to reply and connect with you guys. So that is, that's very important to me. 
and I know the larger YouTubers, you know, when you have like 100,000 um, subscribers, which would be awesome, um, it's really hard, you know, um, not that I know, but I'm saying it has to be because I'm close, closely, I'm uh, close to 4,000 and it's getting more and more difficult all the time. Okay, that's all about that. So, I am going to, I've already had my coffee this morning. I usually skip breakfast and then I have a little something for lunch, but I'm gonna get started on my day and in just a bit we're gonna do an unboxing. Okay, so I have been working on <laughs> learning a new technique. So, don't judge you guys, but right now this is the first step. I'm learning to paint with transparent colors in a loose style. I'm taking a class on florals, so I'm super excited, but that's just the underpainting. So hopefully it'll come together. This is the first time that I've ever painted like this. I've painted flowers, of course, but not like this. Oh, here goes my phone. So yeah, I've painted flowers, of course, but not really like this. One of my problems that I really need to work on is to be more of a loose uh, painter, paint more in a painterly style. So I'm trying to learn to be more loose, you guys. Let it all out. I'm trying to be more loose and just, um, so that's, that's why I'm taking this course. So I will show you guys some more of my progress as we go along, but we're gonna do an unboxing. How about that? Let's do an unboxing, you guys. It's uh, one o'clock, Tuesday afternoon. It's a great time for an unboxing. Ugh. But for now, I think we should do an unboxing. You guys up for that? <laughs> you guys, I don't know why, but lately I've been getting things and just putting them in my office and not unboxing them right away. I usually just tear right into everything, but as you can see, I've been pretty busy. So yeah, let's go on into my office and do a little unboxing. Okay guys, okay, so now we are in my office and I'm just gonna stand here because I don't want, I've been painting and I don't want to get uh, paint on my beautiful office chair. So, I'm so excited you guys, I'm so excited. So, okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is a little reveal and I've had them, them, <laughs> They're sneakers, you guys, Golden Goose sneakers. So I got them from Farfetch. Here's my receipt, and I've already opened them and taken a peek. I'm always honest with you guys, so it's not a true reveal, but I have been wanting some Golden Goose sneakers forever, and you either love them or you hate them. I've heard some people say, oh my gosh, why would anybody spend that kind of money on a pair of shoes that look worn out? Well, I like worn out stuff, and I always have. When I was a young girl, I used to just like pour, pour bleach on my jeans and things like that <laughs> to get that look. That before it was really, you could go in a store and spend a hundred bucks on a pair, you know? So anyway, all right. So let me show you what I got from my very first pair of Golden Goose sneakers from Farfetch. Okay, so I... There, it's really hard because there's so many pretty styles that I was looking at, but I decided for my very first pair just to go with a white pair. So I got these. So they're just white, and I thought they're perfect for the summer to wear with little denim skirts and shorts and things like that. And they have the white star, and the back of them has uh, the metallic, the silver metallic right here. Like I really wanted a BAM pair, but, <laughs> but I thought, I think I'm just gonna go with these uh, to start out with. And I've tried, like I said, I've only tried one on, like I've tried them on and they really do fit. So it seems to me, and Winnie told me that sometimes Golden Goose sneakers, like you might get one size in your true size and they fit and then you'll get another pair or another style and they won't fit exactly the same way. I'm not sure, but uh, these do fit me and these are a size 38 and I'm a seven and a half and eight. So it just really depends uh, on the shoe, I guess. But um, these fit me and oh, I love them so much. I love them, they're so, so cute, you guys. And you know what, I have had, a few people say lately that I have just been too easy on Autumn Beckman lately. You know, there for a while, 
we were there for a while we were really going at it with each other and I'm telling you guys I've just been too busy to pay any attention to her shenanigans and some of the things that she does. But she's very annoying. She's been annoying me so bad today. I've been trying to paint and she's just like texting me, telling me all kinds of stuff. And you know, I was telling my mom the other day, I don't know how she ever made it through life without me before she knew me because anytime she has to buy something, she has to have my approval. She's so obsessed with me, you guys. I mean, the obsession is still there. It's still real. I just haven't had the energy to pay a lot of attention to her lately, and now she's getting particularly needy, and, you know, she's, she's really getting on my nerves. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. Now, here is my next... Is anything even in here? Seriously. The only thing I did was pull off the label and undo the tape. It honestly feels like there's nothing in this box. It feels so light. So, let me show you. I hope there's something in there, I'll die. Okay, you guys. What? 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 No. Okay, I think there is something in here. <sighs> yep, I see something in there. All right, here we go, you guys. What do you think I got this time? I mean, the only thing, you know, until I showed you guys my beautiful crystal re-edition bag, I had only had sunglasses. And now here, here I am, within two weeks apart, unboxing another Prada item. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here's the dust bag. What did I get? What did I get? You guys, I told you guys I'm a repeat offender, right? Okay, so what I got, bam. <laughs> I loved my crystal one so, so much. I thought, I have to have it. I have to have this little black one. How cute. Because this one, I'm sure I will use this one a lot more than the crystal one. I am a little concerned, I'm telling you guys, about losing crystals. So, I mean, that's going to be a going out bag, a special occasion bag. And I love to have bags for special occasions that you just don't use all the time. But this little thing, oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. And... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm acting so silly and giddy, you guys, but I'm just super excited. Now, when I went on the Prada website, I'm going to pull this off. I was wanting to get, is it called Cornflower Blue? That was the one that I went on there to get, but it was sold out, of course. And then I could not make up my mind between this one and the black one with the red, but I don't know. I just, I just kind of like this one better. So I'm probably just carry it like this. Yeah, don't look at my outfit. I'm wearing overall shorts, my painting attire. But, oh my gosh, I love it. Still want that cornflower blue one? I really do. And there's a pink one. Oh, and these are very affordable. They're not super expensive. So I am gonna sit down and do a what fits in my Prada re-edition bag. And um, you guys, I am so, don't. <laughs> I can't believe it. I love it. I love it so much. But yeah, I was, I thought, you know, I really wanted the blue one. Okay. And then there was another blue. I can't remember the name of it, but I love that cornflower blue. I think that's the name of it, but it was sold out. And then I almost got a pink one. I don't know. I just got confused. And of course, when you're in doubt, just buy black, right? That's my favorite color anyway. But I love it, you guys. Oh, I just think these are so, so cute. So, so cute. Whenever we start traveling again, this would be a good little bag. I could just toss it in my never pull or my suitcase or my uh, backpack and just have it for dinner. But I don't have to worry about crystals. So hopefully, you know, I won't have a problem. But I just thought I want to carry it, but I'm so scared. I mean, that is not an everyday bag. I mean, if I were going out on date night or a girl's night out or something like that, you know, then of course I would use it. But this is just 
something that I don't have to worry about and it's just so cute. So, and, and I'm somebody who has never really been attracted to Prada, but these little bags, seriously, I want every color. Like now, now I have to have a colorful one. I really do. Cause I don't know you guys, I keep saying I'm done with Louis Vuitton. I'm not done with them, but not really done with them, but I'm tired of them and I'm yeah. So anyway, this is my quick little unboxing, the crystal Prada bag. It was really hard to get, but this one, you know, it was on the website. So I haven't checked the website again to see if there are more colors available because I let too much time go by. If you see them, you better snag it. That's just a FYI for you guys. If you see one and you want it, snag it because they were gone by the next day. And not that I, I love this black absolutely love it but i was i really did want to get a bright color heck i want all the colors let's not get carried away you guys i'm in a real hyper mood today as you can tell i'm stuck in the house today it's kind of a cool dreary day and i'm just gonna paint all day and i just want to do this quick unboxing for you guys show you what i got show you how bad i've been yep oh how cute this would be so cute okay i can wear a little denim skirt a little white top this and this and i'm ready ah i love it okay so i'll see you guys in a bit hi guys it's a couple hours later and i've settled down a bit i'm sorry about my enthusiasm <laughs> but i was just so excited and i still am so i just wanted to show them to you together Maddie, uh, introduced me to. His name's Eddie and he's on Instagram. He works for Saks Fifth Avenue, I believe in New York, but I will put his information in the description box because you guys, he was amazing and he, um, he got my information and like I said, it was back in January when I did order this bag. He let me know that it was delayed and I mean, it was just a really smooth transaction. So, Bam, double bam. <laughs> I love them. Super cute. Super cute. They do have a little wedge in them, similar to my Louis Vuitton sneakers. I remember I told you guys that I really wasn't a luxury sneaker person, but I wasn't talking about Golden Goose. <laughs> They're so cute. They're just plain. These are the plain ones. They are quite comfortable. I like them. Happy feet. Happy feet. I think they're cute. Here they are. So there you go, guys. I'll do a review on them after I wear them a few times. <laughs>